this evening. So take those Sunday plans, flip them around, change them, and Georgia, stay right here on AMHQ Weekend. Good morning to you. I'm Kate Parker. Good morning, I'm Dr. Greg Postel, and Kate, you're exactly right. We've got tons of stuff going on. We have two winter storms, which is all kinds of winter weather and rain and thunderstorms, as we mentioned earlier. We're just keeping a lot of juggling Ooh. going on with these winter storms. Spring and winter are kind of battling it out, I think. Let's get to the big Finally. picture and talk about the big things that you need to know to make those weekend plans. Obviously, winter storm Sparta is going to be our first one. This moved out of the Midwest. It's moving into the Northeast, and it's, it's leaving a trail of snow along the way. Yeah, it is, and that's going to get into the Northeast soon. But you know what? Farther to the West, We've got this new winter storm. This is winter storm Thor, which is going to bring tons of snow into the Colorado Rockies and the uh, Utah Rockies as well. Yeah, it is. Big time. Good for ski resorts, Great bad skiing, for yeah. driving. Right. How about all this rain down south, Dr. Postal? I mean, yep. we're going to be seeing a soaker, some thunderstorms as well, and it's over the next few days, so you're not getting out of it anytime soon. It's going to stick around. You know what else is sticking around? Our friend, our man, Reynolds Wolf, or yeah, Reynolds Wolf. <laughs> yeah, that's his name. <laughs> yeah. He's sticking around for us in Chicago this morning because you are going to see a little bit of that snow. The temperature is slightly better than yesterday morning, but not so much whenever you're diving into water, right? Okay. Indeed we do. Okay, let's get Reynolds. We got to get people updated on where exactly those watches and warnings lie right now. Where are the advisories? Where do we change our plans for our weekend? Coming up at 640, we're going to hear from Nate McCarty, who you heard from briefly there with the American Trucking Association. He has driven millions of miles accident free, and he's going to share his thoughts on all the pileups we've seen in recent weeks and what you can do to avoid them. Let's talk about an area you should avoid if you're traveling today. If you have to just even get out and go to the grocery store, run those Sunday errands, or maybe you're just trying to get to grandma's house, you're going to have some issues if anywhere along I-80, especially south. And once you get into Pennsylvania, you've got problems. Look Look at Cleveland today. You're going to stay in the snow for a vast majority. You go a little farther south, you've got some freezing rain. So watch roads there into the Delmarva. But uh, again, again, through tonight, across Pennsylvania, things do not improve. In fact, overnight, we can even see a little of those freezing rain situations mix in. And that could leave you, even though it'll be clear by Monday morning, with some slick spots on the roads. Now, two winter storms are making for just an absolute mess, coast to coast. But we're still seeing impacts from the previous storms sitting all around Reynolds Wolf right now out and behind him. Now that snow behind you, uh, it's heavy, right? We've got a timeout what's happening with Winter Storm Sparta for you. We're starting in Washington, D.C., the nation's capital. You are going to see some impacts. The snow has already begun. You're going to see it this morning for sure. It turns into a wintry mix by the time you head into lunchtime and then if you have afternoon plans. So you could still see some of those snowflakes mixing in, but by later tonight, you've transitioned into rain through the overnight hours. Great news for your morning commute tomorrow. That does not mean that you shouldn't be on the lookout for slick spots. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look at the this forecast a little more in depth here. So the past 24 hours in DC, you've been cold. Road surfaces have been plenty cold for that snow to stick. You can see that you've been staying below freezing. You haven't seen any snow just yet, but that's going to change. Look what happens over the next 24 hours. We start to get some of that frozen precipitation. Now you're going to see snowflakes, but you could also see a little sleet and you could even see a little freezing rain. This is over the evening tonight. And then by the time we get to the overnight hours and early into your Monday morning commute, fog could be an issue for you. So it's not just strictly going to be the fact that we have snow in the forecast with Sparta. You could see some lower visibility. It could be pretty dangerous for you. So tomorrow, here's the good news. Your Monday, 42 degrees. Here's the bad news. Look at later on this week. You've got more snow in the forecast. You've got more days of rain. So you're going to see plenty of it. Your precipitation chances are highest on Wednesday. That's what these white bars are showing you. Staying mainly rain until we get to Thursday morning and into the afternoon. Let's go ahead and get an update on what's happening with both Winter Storm Sparta and Winter Storm Thor from Dr. Postel. They Back don't, to yeah, flirting so close with that all-time oh. snow record. We'll see if we break it this season. All I right, know. Reynolds, go warm up a little bit. You said it just got a little colder out there. You know where it's not going to be warming up too much today? Minneapolis. You're high, only in the mid-20s. Here's the deal. Thor will be making its presence known very soon. The snow is actually started to start, expected to start falling tomorrow night, and you could see as much as five inches of snow. You haven't seen all that much snow there this year, but this is changing the game for a lot of folks because this pattern has moved a little farther to the west, so far west, in fact, that California right now, the beginnings of Thor. That's where we're seeing this huge dip in the jet stream and just potent upper level low. Look at how amplified this gets. That's allowing all this warm air to surge into the south and it brings all this cold air a little farther to the south as well. So what happens is that we get uh, all that moisture uh, moving north 
and then we get all the snow coming down. And the thing is, is this is the entire U.S. By the time we get to Tuesday, we're going to see this continue to spread off toward the uh, east. So we've got just this huge pattern here, starting with the west coast. Yesterday you had rain. Today we're continuing it for Los Angeles, San Diego. Look at the four corners. You've got snows. So you've got snow, especially in the Rockies. Places like Telluride, you're going to see the uh, the snow there. It's basically going to be in the valleys. It's rain. You had higher in elevation. You're going to see snow and heavy snow at times. In fact, so you are going to have some visibility issues driving, especially in and around Durango or any of these passes over the Rockies across Utah and then even into northern uh, Arizona, the Grand Canyon. You're going to get a tremendous amount of snow as well. So if you have any trips planned there, maybe you live anywhere in that area, you're going to have some problems. How about what happens when this starts to move out to the east? Now we're going to see some freezing rain potential across the Ohio River Valley farther north from there. We've got snow in the forecast to the south. We've got thunderstorms. Look at the freezing rain potential once again along the Red River and down south into north Texas, stretching into Oklahoma, across Arkansas, and then into Kentucky once again for Wednesday, even into West Virginia. We're going to see some of that. So Minneapolis, here's a look at your forecast with Thor. Tomorrow, no problem. 29 degrees, sunny. We'll take it. But by Tuesday, you've got snow and wind heading on in. Now straight ahead on AMJH.